This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to look at the extend curve command. If you'd like to follow along, please open the exercise file named Extending Curves in your Chapter 5 directory in your Working File folder. So here you can see we have a series of curves. We have two freeform arcing curves and then some shorter curves that don't quite touch. So what we use the extend curve command for primarily is to take curves like these ones inside here or this one out here and we extend them to intersect with the main curves that we want in our design. So we can use those intersecting curves for trimming or maybe as cross sections for a two rail sweep, which we'll learn about more when we get into surfacing. There's two places we can access the extend curve command, the first being under curve, extend curve, and you can see the different types here. Or on our toolbar, we can select the curve toolbar, and then this icon here will hold this down and pull this off. This is all of the extended curve commands. This is the main icon and probably the one used most of the time. So we'll just go ahead and click on this one, and following our command line, we'll select a boundary object. So that's an object that we're going to extend up to. So we'll choose this one and this curve here. Hit enter. And now we simply select a curve that we want to extend. And depending on which end of the curve you choose, that drives the direction it'll go on. So if I click on the end here, it'll extend out to this curve here. And the same if I click here, it'll extend off to here. This works as well with arcs, as well as straight lines outside of the curve and then just hit enter to end the command. As I mentioned, we generally do the extend curve command to extend a line out to another curve in order to use one of the curves as either a cross section or for trimming purposes. So now that we've extended this curve, let me go ahead and select this line and click on the split icon. And I'm gonna split it with this curve, this curve, and this curve. Hit enter, and now you can see the curve is split. Now note here that this didn't actually split, and the reason for that is even though these look connected, if I zoom in by clicking my rectangle zoom command, you can see this line doesn't actually touch this line here. So I'll just go ahead and click on the extend curve command again, select this as the boundary, hit enter, and then click on that curve, and now you can see it extends all the way out. Then I can take this curve, use the split command, and now we can split the curve. Now we don't have to have a boundary in order to use the extended curve command. We can use the extended curve command and either drag or type a length for the curve. When we do apply the command though, it is expecting us to select a boundary. If we aren't going to, don't select anything and then just hit enter and that gets us past that part of the command. Now you can see it's asking to select a curve to extend and I can just pick on this and I can drag any distance I want, or I can type a number, say two, and hit enter, and it'll extend that line by a unit of two, whether it's millimeters, feet, inches, whatever units we're working in. Now there are different curve extension options. There's extend curve smooth, there's extend by line, extend by arc. If we do extend by line on this curve here, it's gonna extend it by a straight line, whereas if we do extend by smooth, it's going to actually try and draw a smooth curve coming off there. Now for all of these, we can just type a number, say 10, and it'll draw a 10 millimeter line coming off of there. Or we can select by arc, and that'll draw an arc coming off of there. And the further away we move, the larger the radius is. So by using the extend command, I could take this curve here, select this boundary, hit enter, and extend that curve up to that boundary. And now I can use this curve to trim this line away. If I want, I can select these. Let's see, and this one. There we go. And hit trim. And now I can start trimming away parts of the line I don't want. So extend curve is a really nice way to set yourself up for lines that really do a nice job of splitting or trimming, or as I said, to extend cross-section curves out to make sure they're touching the one or two rails that you need to sweep a surface. Now there are a couple of other options on the extended curve command. 
And I do encourage you to have a look at these commands and really sort of play with them and see what they're able to do. But that concludes our coverage on the extended curve command.